Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the High Character Vlogs. This is our first one for the 2022-2023 season. It is early on Friday morning, and Evan and I are headed out to Western Mass. Opening weekend in Amherst, UMass versus the defending national champions, Denver Pioneers. They're coming to town for a two-game set, and it should be an absolutely incredible series. Should be an amazing time. First time back at the Mullen Center this season, and we're super pumped for it. Evan. It was good. Your thoughts on Colorado Seminary? I hate them. They suck. It's fair. There's really no other better way to put it. You kind of just put me on the spot here. I was not expecting this. Uh, yeah, crappy, dirty school. Just, I don't know, I keep remembering, what was it, the 2019 game? Mm -hmm. And then they had, what was it, Jake Durflinger literally almost decapitated John Leonard. It's not what you like to see. Especially when he's a good friend of the pod. For real. Terrible. Unfortunate. We're on our way to Western Mass. We will catch up with you soon. Look at those leaves, though. That's nuts. How about that? How about it? Had to work for the day, but we are finally in Amherst. We're grabbing some Pita Pocket, which is amazing. If you haven't checked it out before, so good right in downtown Amherst. And then we are headed to the game. Food took a little bit longer than expected, so I'm trying to scarf it down as we're walking in. I think we're going to miss warm-ups, but we will be in time for the game. A little bit stressed, but we will get there very shortly. Ooh. Step over. Oh. We are finally back. Love this. Oh, the cloud bomb from Kale. That was quite possibly the best penalty kill we've ever seen in this school's program. That we that we've ever no, two nothing part of. on two shots on a five minute major. That's unreal. We got to keep up the momentum. Two nothing UMass. Uh, 13, 37 left in the first. Nothing after the first period. Evan, what do you think about that period? I'm loving it. I want more of it. I can't get enough. I'm on cloud nine right now. Keep it up. One of the most fun periods I think we've ever seen in our time watching UMass Hockey.
Second period is done. Four nothing UMass against the number one team in the nation. After two, what are your thoughts, Evan? One more period and we'll be smiling all the way home. Just one more period. Just gotta keep it up. Yes, sir. Might have an emergency podcast coming up after this game. We'll see. That is the game, UMass beating number one and defending national champion Denver four to two. How you feeling, bro? A little nervous at the end of that game, admittedly, but we won. That's all that really matters. We got the three points, two points, three points. They don't have Whatever. to. Don't have like you weren't bouncing around yet. Let's Look, go. Man, two I'm, seconds. Ago. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. We're feeling good. It has been an amazing night. Let's do it again tomorrow. UMass just upset the number one team in the country, Denver Pioneers. Uh, we normally save this for a series recap after the series is over, but we were just too pumped to talk about it. We wanted to get all our thoughts out right after the game. Feeling pumped. I have never been happier to have been proven wrong in my entire life. Yeah, they did the complete inverse. They might have been listening to the pod, and they said, we're just going to screw this guy over in particular and just make him sound like a complete idiot. And again, couldn't be happier because it worked out for the better. I uh, really don't want to downplay this game. That's why we're recording now. Denver coming in, the defending national champions. Uh, UMass won the year before. So the two last national champions in college hockey. And they also come in the number one team in the entire country, which uh, if you could say you knock off the number one team in the country, you could really skate with anybody. What you guys just saw were a few cutouts from our emergency podcast last night. After that win, we just had to go talk about it. We couldn't wait. So uh, that yeah, it was a fun one if you guys want to go check it out. But for now, we are headed to do a couple errands in, in Western Mass. Things will probably end up at Randall's Farm, get ourselves some apple cider, apple cider donuts. So perfect fall day in Western Mass. Randall's is a hidden gem out in Ludlow, Mass. You guys should check it out. These are an absolute must if you're in Western Mass in the fall. Hi. Sophia is finally joining us for game two. Hi. Just had to stop and help my dad get the pool cover on. A little bit late, but, you know, we got it done. Bruh. Look at this dude. Our helper's over there. Help. Just grabbed some dinner before the game at the new Worcester Dining Hall. Woo! Uh, <laughs> we haven't really been to it and we graduated before it opened so it's pretty cool to check it out pretty nice place all things considered still like the old worcester but this one's pretty good too evan agrees i believe 100 percent. yeah no old worcester much better much better it's tough for worcester pretty nice building though back at mullins let's go game two let's get that dub look at that sunset Slice is past his prime. In the arms of the angel. 
one nothing UMass after one period. I thought that was an amazing period for UMass. Yeah, I mean the goal itself was pretty damn greasy, but <laughs> other than that, I mean defensively we looked really solid and we're playing really well. Can't really chippy too. We got to keep watching that, but let's go UMass. Let's go. Sketchy Denver Secret Service man or something. I'm not sure what he's up to here. Looking sketchy. UMass taking a 2 0 lead now. Denver had an insane amount of pressure, but UMass ended up scraping one in. What are your thoughts? Finish the job. That's it. If we finish the job in this period, we get another three points, metaphorically, because again, we're not in their conference, but you get the idea. We win the game. One period away from a sweep of the number one team in the country. That's crazy. has just swept the defending national champions and number one in the country. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. UMass has just shocked the world and swept the number one team in the nation and the defending national champions, the Denver Pioneers. It doesn't get much better than this. Like, I, I think this weekend has gone almost perfectly. I mean, we get two big wins against the number one ranked team in the nation, Denver. Swept them, get the brooms out, feeling good. I don't think a single thing really could could have gone wrong this weekend. It was awesome for me. So this game, more than even the first game, showed me that UMass can skate with anybody in the country. You know, just knowing that we have so much skill and heart and determination and all those, you know, factors that go into what makes a team great. I just I don't see how we don't ride this momentum in the next weekend and just really get the job done.